Hey, howdy, hey, how is everybody doing? And welcome back to Disney Daily. 1951's Alice in Wonderland follows the story of a curious little girl named Alice who takes a tumble down a rabbit hole and into a fantasy world full of peculiar people and creatures. Despite being a flop at the box office when it was first released, it has become a cult classic in more recent years with a very dedicated fan base. And for those of you who didn't know, Disney's version of Alice in Wonderland was actually based off of two books written by Lewis Carroll, Alice in Wonderland, and the sequel, Through the Looking Glass. This enchanting film celebrated 70 years this year and definitely helped pave the way for future Disney films. So in honor of this classic movie, I felt it was only right that I did a Fast Facts video dedicated to it. So here is five Fast Facts you didn't know about Alice in Wonderland. Number five. The voice actress who brought Alice to life, Catherine Beaumont, also voiced another classic Disney character that we know and love. If you ever thought to yourself, gosh, Alice sounds a lot like Wendy Darling from Peter Pan, it's because they are in fact voiced by the same person. What's interesting is that Beaumont also served as the live action reference model for both characters. This meant she would act out the scenes in front of the animators so that they could sketch out the character and then later turn it into an animation. She also did this for Wendy as well and was suspended into the air to simulate flying. Number four. I would say one of the most iconic aspects to this movie is the music. In fact, it is the Disney movie with the most songs still to this date. Obviously, some more memorable than others. But did you know that originally over 30 songs were written for the film, but some were cut and never used? For example, the original entrance song sung by Cheshire Cat was called I'm Odd, and although it didn't make its way into the final cut of the movie, it was brought back in the special feature DVD for Alice in Wonderland's 60th anniversary. I will also add in that two of the song's melodies cut from the movie did find a new home in another Disney film, that film being Peter Pan. Those songs that I am referring to are Second Star to the Right and Never Smile at a Crocodile. Number three, the character Mad Hatter was completely inspired by his voice actor, Ed Wynn. From the mannerisms to the physical appearance, animators basically took Wynn and turned him into an animated character. Upon researching for this video, I also learned that Wynn's improvised scene from the Mad Tea Party was actually used in the final version of the film. Film. Apparently, Walt himself liked it so much that he asked the team to find a way to put his ad-libbed audio into the film. Number two, it took years to finally bring this work of art to life on the big screen. According to several sources, there were over 11 documented meetings of Walt discussing the possibility of an Alice movie for years. In fact, in 1933, Disney had picked actress Mary Pickford for the role of Alice in a live action version of the film, but scrapped the idea after Paramount beat him to the punch and released their own adaptation. Number one, a few main characters were cut from the film, including Walt's favorite. Among those that were removed were the overbearing Griffin, the mock turtle who was not just a turtle, but a bunch of different creatures put together, Humpty Dumpty, and last but certainly not least, Walt's favorite, the White Knight. It is said that Disney really enjoyed the character because he was kind and helpful to Alice. And speaking of characters, there was one in particular that was an original made by the animators, and that was the talking doorknob that Alice encounters at the beginning of the film. Well, that concludes this episode of Disney Daily. I hope you learned something new. Please tell me your favorite character from Alice in Wonderland in the comments. As always, thanks for being my guest here at Disney Daily. Until next time.